Alright, today I have a special treat. I'm going to do a live reaction to Euro Truck Simulator. Two. Two. This. This is the Euro Truck Simulator. I don't think I can turn my camera around once I started filming, so. This is just gonna be my face reacting. The trees are very nice. You should really, you should really see this. The graphics are pretty, pretty crazy good for a game that's just about driving a truck. But I guess they better be when the only thing you do in the game is drive a truck. Uh, are those vultures? What are those? They could be hawks or vultures or falcons or something. Yeah, they're birds. Can you get out of your truck? No. So it's there's no Grand Theft Auto type elements? No. Well, you can crash into other people. It usually costs you money, though. How much money? A lot of euros. But there are other elements than driving. Is that is that euro amount, that 11,000, how much you have? Yes. I used to have a lot more, but I just upgraded my garage to be able to hold more trucks, and that cost me 180,000 pounds. Can you steal a tractor? Those are tractors over there. No, I, can, I cannot steal a tractor. So you can't, like, finagle things onto your truck? No. I'm currently hauling a whole lot of explosives, though. See, that sounds like Grand Theft Auto. No, because I'm delivering the explosives. Because it's my job. Delivering them to your enemies so they can die in a fiery hellscape? No, I'm delivering them to a company that needs See, them. that looks like a very nice little home. What home? The home you pass with the little red roof. I missed it. You could probably turn the render distance up. I'm seeing trees disappear in your, uh... My rear view mirror? Yeah. <laughs> Things just disappearing on the horizon. It's a little weird. It's because it's more important what's happening in front of you most of the time. Okay. <laughs> so it just does rear, like, pop out? I guess that's how it looks so nice and doesn't lag. I mean, I doubt it would lag on your computer anyway, though. Those are wonderful skyboxes. Just really, really great sky. The cloud right there, center left, kind of looks like um, a wood rat, muskrat, groundhog. Yeah, groundhog. I'm trying not to cry because of the onions. I am crying because of the onions. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably stir my soup. <laughs> Here. Here's my delicious soup. Live stirring. I'm making my own tomato soup with whole peeled San Marzan tomatoes. And olive oil and onions and garlic and basil. Smells wonderful. Close up, far away, the only thing you can smell is the onions. I'm hoping it's delicious. I will be making grilled cheese sandwiches with it. Because not not much is better with tomato soup than grilled cheese sandwiches. 
Oh, you dropped some. You totally did. You knocked your phone but down. Probably fine, but you should be careful until you get a case. Did you get a case with all those things you got? You're gonna break your new phone. I'm not. Yes, you are. You're gonna break your new phone. No, I'm not. She's gonna break her new phone. <clears throat> Alright, back to reacting. How many types of trees do you think there are in this game? Mm -hmm. They actually do their research, so they're probably, like, accurate to the area. Hmm. I'm currently driving to Frankfurt. That's a lot of dedication for a truck sim. They are very dedicated. Is it about to start raining? The sky's looking a little stormy. It could. There is rain in this game. Is there also a day-night cycle? Yes. And that can happen while you're driving. That's it's not just like you load into a map and it's either nighttime or raining or something like that. No, the game time is always ticking. Okay, that's interesting. From what I gathered, it's like one minute in game is like five seconds in real life. That's pretty accelerated time. Does that mean the worlds are also scrunched up so you don't spend as long driving around? Well, yeah, you like. This trip takes seven hours in game, but I'm not going to actually drive this for seven actual hours. But it would be seven hours to drive from Berlin to Frankfurt in real life. You know what, I'd appreciate a realism mode in this game where you can just make one seven hour long trip. Like a hyper realism version of this game. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't know. I think I would watch a hyper-realism stream of Euro Truck Sim. You know what the best thing about this game Especially is? Especially if they were role-playing. You know what the best thing about this game is? What? Cruise control. Don't cars in real life have cruise control, Gabby? Yes, and I'm so happy that they included cruise control as an option. <laughs> so, will cops pull you over if you're breaking the speeding limit? No, there's no pullover, but you will automatically be fined. Uh, that's, uh, it would be cooler if cops, you had to get caught by cops, so you had to, like, keep an eye out for... You still do, because it's when they drive past you and you're, like, speeding that you'll get a random fine and be like, fuck! Oh, so you only get the fine if a cop is yes. near you. Okay. Yes, you notice, I am five my, um, kilometers over the speed limit right now. You should book it more. No, Hit a hundred. That is way too fucking dangerous for a truck this size. Is I that a skyscraper control. in the middle of the forest? I don't believe so. That's probably, um... What's it called? What are those... A silo. It doesn't look like a silo. It's a... It's, or it's a got, water tower. It's got windows all over it, Gabby. Those aren't windows. Are you sure? I'm very interested in the background scenery. It is so much prettier during the day when you can actually see shit. I hate driving at night. I always like games when they're raining. I don't know why. I just think rain looks cool in video games. And I do have windshield wipers and lights that I have to turn on. So you figured out how to turn your windshield wipers on? Yes. So, like, do you have any competition with other truck drivers? Um, Do you ever I, have to, like, race another truck to, to delivery? No, but there is, like, um, a leaderboard kind of deal. Like, if you go online and then make a profile, you can compete against uh, other people to, like, determine who's the best trucker. I'm terrible at driving, so I don't bother. Mm. Who do you think the best trucker is? I don't know. I don't know who actually plays this game other than myself. Well, I've seen Kiori play this game. I know, I'm like, I'm in it for mostly the driving aspect. There are people who are actually really into the truck aspect and are really into, like, the specs and stuff. Like, um... I cheat because I just do a simple automatic mode. I don't even bother with, like, the gear shifts. It automatically gear shifts for me. Mm -hmm. But other people will actually, like, 
fucking drive a stick on this goddamn game. Do you have to jet actually switch sticks, like gears and stuff? Yeah, you notice um, my gear is next to my speed. Is, is it the A11? Yes. I didn't know there were 11 gears. There's 12. <laughs> There's 12! <laughs> I almost hit that car. I thought there were like five gears. Or is it different in cars? It's different in cars. Okay, oh, my eyes are burning from the onions again. Yep. I should check on that. Have you reached 10 minutes yet? Oh, yes, I have. So, time's up. That is all the glimpse into my life you get for today. <laughs>